One of those evangelists is 21-year-old Gebre. In the past three years, Gebre has led over 600 people to Christ in an area where there are hundreds of mosques. Now, many of these new Christians are from Muslim backgrounds. He baptized 65 of them. Gebre, who goes from house to house telling people about Jesus, has met with much opposition. On one occasion, around 500 angry Muslims showed up at his house to kill him after Muslim leaders issued a death sentence on him. They declared a jihad, a war on me, and whoever kills me will receive 80,000 Ethiopian burr. So in order to fulfill this declaration, 500 people came to my house. Gebre was able to escape the mob that day, but the death sentence remains. He has had several more threats against his life. His house was burned and his personal belongings were destroyed. I don't have any fear because it's not a man who called me. It's Jesus who called me to this ministry. Even last week, I was witnessing about Christ from house to house in an area far away, regardless of these dangers facing me. All people on this earth, one way or another, will die. Nobody is going to live forever here. So dying for Jesus' sake is the glory. It's special. It's not like any ordinary death.